woman in Frederick saw a news story about a lady in Paradise, California, you know, where that recent wildfire burned. The place where that woman's jewelry melted in the fire. And that Coloradan watching the story knew what she could do to help. Our Katie Eastman has the story. I love the pink gems and the blue gems. I love London blue topaz. A world of sparkle um, and color. I love it all. I don't discriminate. That's the all. one Stacia Shane Clark <laughs> wants everyone to live in. I've been making jewelry for 20 plus years. Everything's made in sterling silver and either Swarovski crystal or precious gemstones. Each piece is requested. It's just a little something. Something that sparkles. It is the photo that I have used to inspire this entire project. For a world turned black and white. I'm creating jewelry for the survivors of the campfire. I can't give someone a house. I can't give someone a car. I can't give them a job. I'm not close enough to help them with anything like that. And this is so, um, so silly. The offer wasn't silly to the people from Paradise. Sorry, I saw your post about campfire survivors losing Free their jewelry and we lost I everything in the fire. Jewelry. You're so sweet. But I lost my grandmother's point. pearls. Every request comes with a story. Days. I love jewelry and I lost yeah. all in the fire. Heartbreak that makes her fingers go faster. Yeah, it does. It does. She knows their worlds need so much more than something silver. So it's a three pearl necklace. But if this necklace. something brings a smile, well, that's the world Stacia wants to help bring back. So now I'm going to fill those jewelry boxes and make sure everybody has something that makes them sparkle when they go out. In Frederick, Katie Eastman, 9 News. Perfect.